Greetings and welcome to the 12th After Action Report for the Combat Mission Scottish Corridor Campaign. The 9th Cameronians and the 2nd Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders involvement during the campaign has been focused on an area west southwest of Caen. For the 27th and 28th of June, the 9th have been operating in Greenville sur Adon with orders to secure the area on the west flank of the 8th Corps and the 15th Scottish Infantry Division. The 2nd and the 9th have been successful in securing most of their objectives. The battle is identified as green in the list. I believe this puts me in a very strong position for a total campaign victory, but we will have to wait and see. It's the afternoon on the 28th of June and after successfully securing the Eglise Saint-Pierre church at Grainville sur Adon earlier today, we've been ordered to secure a chateau on the outskirts of the village to the southwest. I am to manoeuvre to the chateau and secure the main building, the outhouses and the grounds in the immediate area. Intel suggests I'm facing a platoon strength force of SS holding the chateau, with a small support force providing overwatch from buildings to the west. I'm not required to engage the overwatch force and I can manoeuvre to prevent contact where possible to focus on the forces at the chateau. I'm commanding C Company with support from 3 section carrier, a 181mm off map mortar, and a Typhoon 1B in close air support. My forces have not been reinforced or resupplied from the earlier battle, and I'm, I'm advised they are in a weakened state and will tire quickly. Fortunately, C Company suffered limited casualties in the last battle, so my force is around 70-80% to 80 strength. I have 40 minutes to secure the chateau and I need to keep my casualties to a minimum. Looking at the terrain, it is all very familiar. Our kickoff location is south of the church at Grainville, with the German Overwatch force positioned in buildings approximately 400 metres west of the church where Panther 1 first appeared in the last battle. The chateau is about half a kilometre southwest and has tall hedgerows on its northern and eastern perimeter. The chateau is tagged as Objective Hallow and I've tagged the SS Overwatch location as Schutz. The direct route to the chateau is open fields and unsuitable to advance through as it provides no concealment from the SS at Schutz. A road out of Grainville leads directly south, running parallel with the chateau, and has buildings which offer good cover and reasonable concealment. I have tagged this location as Taylor, and this shall be my route to the chateau. I shall use company attack drill to leapfrog my sections whilst providing overwatch or suppressive fire. I will try to cause as little fatigue as possible by resting or walking my soldiers. If possible, I'll shuttle soldiers using the Bedford truck. A forward observer team has been assigned to the company and they've already contacted the Typhoon for an attack on the chateau. I'm very aware that close air support can easily mistake allied forces for Axis and blue on blue casualties are common when using 1940s area air support. To minimize the risk, once my forces begin to approach the chateau, I will redirect the Typhoon to location shuts, keeping the ground support aircraft clear of my forces but free to engage the overwatch forces. I'm expecting the SS at the chateau to be fanatical and extremely motivated. They won't surrender or withdraw and I expect the fighting in the chateau to be heavy and potentially costly. It will be important I apply suppressive fire wherever possible. Not always easy in amongst buildings with oblique angles and poor line of sight. The 9th quickly set off and start to manoeuvre south. 13 and 14 platoon leapfrog forward whilst 15 platoon provides overwatch and support fire from the area around the churchyard and the kickoff point. We quickly spot the SS on the eastern flank of the chateau. 
And as always, the MG34s and 42s are great suppressive weapons, and I use smoke to try and conceal my advance. Conscious of time, I also use one of the universal brain carriers to push forward and spearhead my advance. My two inch mortar teams have not been resupplied and I have little to no HE rounds left. I use the little smoke that the mortars have left to further conceal my advance. The wind conditions have been advised as medium, however it's strong enough to quickly disperse my smoke. It's not a major problem at this range and I supplement with suppressive fire from the brain carriers. The Typhoon's first strafing gun. Thirteen and fourteen platoon provide overwatch for each other and the sections as they leapfrog forward. The fire from the SS quickly becomes sporadic, allowing 13 and 14 platoons to advance quicker. Fifteen platoons overwatch starts to become ineffective and so I advance them towards objective Taylor as well. The lead scout detachment from 13 platoon heads directly west towards the hedgerow of the chateau. With little to no return fire, the rest of the platoon starts to follow. Ten minutes into battle and I have a forward scout group on the eastern edge of the Chateau Hedgerow. Thirteen platoon is also making a strong advance towards the west. My 81mm mortars are starting to fall on the eastern edge of the chateau, whilst 14 platoon continued their advance towards Objective Taylor, and 15 platoon are either in the brain carriers, moving on foot, or loading into the Bedford truck in order to begin their advance. I've just suffered a couple of minor casualties, nothing serious, and my plan is going pretty much how I expected. I slowly form up 13 platoon on the eastern edge of the chateau by the gravel road. I'm trying to be patient so as not to tire my soldiers. Disappointingly, the universal carriers cannot break through the low hedge from the farm fields onto the gravel road. This means I'm unable to use the armoured Bren support. I push forward some scouts and lead elements of 13 platoon in an attempt to get eyes on the defending SS. It 
seems to be small one or two man pockets of resistance but as I mentioned at the beginning I'm assuming that they are fanatical I bring up the rest of 13 and 14 platoon and start to look to win fire superiority I spot corpses from the Typhoon bombing room and a rather large crater. As I start to gain fire superiority, 15 platoon starts to arrive. 13 platoon commences their assault by leapfrogging elements forward. Defensive fire increases as more SS enter the fray. The assault continues. Detachment of SS try to withdraw. The firefight for the allotment is intense. The rest of 13 platoon begin their assault under suppressive fire of 14 platoon. I use reinforcements from 15 platoon to push east further south along the southern edge of the chateau. An SS detachment is spotted at the eastern gatehouse. Fourteen platoon begins its assault.
1 and 2 section, 14 platoon, leapfrog past 13 platoon, and head towards the chateau. Meanwhile, 15 platoon is providing suppressive fire from the southern perimeter of the chateau. 14 platoon start to reach the outer walls of the chateau's buildings. Fighting in the staff quarters of the chateau is heavy. Twenty five minutes into battle, and the ninth are deep in the grounds of the chateau. Thirteen and fourteen platoon are fighting in the outbuildings of the maids and the housekeeper's quarters. 15 platoon are looping round on the southern perimeter of the chateau and heading towards the main building. I have eyes on the SS force at the overwatch objective I previously called Schultz. An infantry howitzer has a very limited line of sight, keyhole sight line, into the allotment area and it's caused some limited casualties. I've called in the Typhoon on the objective Schultz overwatch area. As 15 platoon race across the lawn, I brought the entire company into the attack. The Typhoon circles above and shoots. the outbuildings and the household buildings now secure, the rest of the company begins to prepare for the assault on the main chateau. It's difficult to find angles or areas to provide suppressive fire on the main house and the ornamental garden. The gates and entrances are starting to prove to be a death trap. I get a detachment onto the ground floor of the main building. Meanwhile a detachment from 3 section 13 platoon look for a different avenue into the ornamental garden. Two and three section 14 platoon work their way through the ground floor of the chateau, whilst 13 platoon try to storm the ornamental garden. The rest of the company and the support sections storm into the chateau.
suddenly peace descends over the chateau as the last of the SS in the objective are casualties. I spend the next few minutes applying buddy aid and then the scenario comes to an end with a British Army total victory. I have to say it wasn't too much of a surprise uh, the result um, it was a fairly simple battle once um, I devised how to avoid where the uh, Overwatch forces were. The SS force actually in the chateau was relatively small uh, and with uh, a lot of concentrated suppressive fire it wasn't too much of a problem. If we look here again uh, remember bottom left hand corner you can see the casualties inflicted by the SS and then also the layout as the uh, British 9th Cameronians clean up uh, the rest of the chateau area and uh, lick their wounds. I suffered uh, the worst of my casualties from actually storming uh, the main chateau building uh, as you know, it was difficult to get line of sight, difficult to get good vantage point. Uh, so if I look at the area outside the chateau, I see a number of casualties, German casualties from the Typhoon strafing run and a bombing run. If we then look at the, uh, the Brits and the Knights Cameronian, it's not a huge number of casualties inflicted. A lot of the firepower really was um, about suppression. The reduced squads and a lot of the injuries are from the previous battle. There we get to see the Ford Observer and uh, his handiwork uh, with the Typhoon and the Mortars. So a good solid victory for the Brits there securing the chateau on the southern edge of Grainville. Uh, so with that I'll bring the video to end, uh, say thank you very much for um, joining and I hope you find it interesting and I'll see you all again soon.